Chris here. So today we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, yes, we're gonna be playing this today because I forgot I had actually had it on the PS4. Um, yeah, I know last week I said um, I think I would do Fall Guys, but it's been laggy lately, so. I decided on Gerbil Space Program, and to me, it's an extremely fun game. Um, but, yeah, um, right now, I haven't even tried the curvier thing yet, because I can barely get a rocket into space without, you know, dying. Um, let's go to, yeah, if you don't know what this game is, it's basically, it's basically a NASA simulator. <laughs> you build your own rockets and see if you can go up into space. It's pretty realistic to, if, well, I mean, it's pretty realistic, even though it's, you know, weird look. Let's see. Let's just build a small rocket for you guys, just to get the little, uh, hold on, um, just to, you know, get how it's doing, or basically the, how to do, build like a very, very simple rocket. I'll explain later in detail. go there we go um the mix um small things there we go and then mm, that's a pretty big bear shoes <laughs> let's just get this guy for now then um, sure then these ones all right then we sh um not we should not be good to go uh, like I said I, I will explain later in detail but I just wanted to, I just wanted to build a small craft to let you guys see what this game is all about. <laughs> I I had bought this game on uh, my own more uh, computer that I had a long, long time ago, like three, four years maybe. But once I got it here, I was pretty excited, and so I liked it, and then. I just found other games. But, let's launch. Nyom. This is pretty, this is a pretty successful launch. Alright then. Um, so once you see this on your rocket ship, this means you're breaking the sound barrier. And the red hot means that you're breaking into the upper atmosphere. If I remember science class correctly, this is the thermosphere. All right then. Well, that happened. Sorry if it's I forgot to change it back to daytime. Yeah, we're still going up. Hey, we're in orbit. Nice. Uh, let me just revert that flight because I don't want to lose another pilot. Uh, don't mind when I mean lose. Well, you know what? I'll show you. <laughs> um, basically, once I was playing it last night, what was happening was I was testing it out and I have an, I actually built a really successful craft. Let me just open it up for you. If I can find it. 
There it is. A uh, successful Sputnik. Or Sputnik or whatever. And I'm, I'm actually extremely proud of this one. Because it actually works pretty well. Uh, there we go. Alright, so, basically... Um, in this game, it's extremely detailed and you need to know what you're doing. Which I don't. <laughs> um... So basically, bas this um, whole objective is to get to certain planets. Right now my objective of this entire playthrough of this is going to be to land on Mars. That or land on the moon. Probably land on Mars. That's our bar high for this playthrough. Um... Basically what I'm mo- okay. Uh, I shouldn't be messing with a successful Sputnik. Um, don't save. Not that be successful Sputnik. Um, but, basically, uh, your rocket has so many components that you need to do. Or have, to have a successful one. Let me try to, try to change this today for you. Whoa, okay then. Alright, let's go to time warp one. And let's get back into the hangar. Alright. I want to build a successful craft. Um, by the end of this week. Um, let me just trash this. Let me see if that actually saved. I hope it did, or else that would suck. Okay, successful for Nick. Alright, so. The so first major component that you need for your rocket to survive is a command pod. Now, it can either be Something like this. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to reload, or I need to, um, you yeah, guys, I'll uh, be right back because I forgot. Uh, I don't know what's up with it, but whenever I use successful Sputnik and trash it, then I can't really place anything else or play the game. Uh, yeah, I'll be, hey guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, whenever I exit out of the, I, I wanted, I needed to exit out the game, so that way I can actually select something, and hopefully do this right. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with this. Hmm. All right then. Um, here. Let's not save. Hmm. We'll figure this out together. Okay. Um. Hey, there we go. Alright, hopefully this works. Yes! Nice. Alright, so. Let's get back to what I was saying. This game is basically NASA Simulator. A big major component that you need for this or for your aircraft to succeed is a pod. Now, the one I'm using right now is a pod with humans or kerbals inside it. Um, they come in all different shapes and sizes, as you can see. 
but I'm just gonna use a smaller, simpler one. Second thing your space or your aircraft needs is a fuel tank for your rocket. Now, um, since I'm in sandbox mode, I have everything unlocked. So I need to find the right looking one. No, I don't need ground. Um, need to find the right lo looking one for the right spaceship. Nope, too big. This? Nope, way too big. <laughs> uh, this. Way too small. This? Too small. Um, this? No. <laughs> this? No. This? How big are these things get? This? No. Maybe this. Yes, nice. Alright then, uh, let's add three field tanks. Let's make sure we can get in the space. Hopefully. Now, I don't, uh, now. Um, if, now. Second most important thing. My third most important, sorry. I cannot spell more. Spell. <laughs> uh, I can't count, there we go. Um is the engine. This is what actually propels you into space. Now that uses the type of fuel. Um, now also on your thing, you can add boosters. Like this. Now, um, I'm playing on the PS4, so the controls are going to be way different. But if you push in the left trigger, then you get into cursor mode, which is my favorite. Um, if you press uh, triangle, then you pop up with this menu. Basically, I only use this to change symmetry. And this means that once I add one, it'll add many. Now, um, let's go to command and control. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, control is very important because if you can't c really control it, uh, well, space, you're kind of going to die. <laughs> Um, coupling. This is basically, coupling is, um, nope, uh, dang, this aircraft is big, aircraft spaceship. Coupling is used to, like, release it. Like, this part will go off this way, well, the, this way will just go down. Um, if that makes sense to you. Um, you know, also coupling. These things are huge, jeez. Hmm. Oh, it's docking. I thought this thing was gonna be like clamping onto the rockets for some reason. Uh, for this one, let's use these. It doesn't look right, so let's use these ones instead. All right then. Now these will release something. Now I'm gonna use that something for a booster or more accurately four boosters there we go now the boosters um they're only used to kind of aid in your um launch up into space um okay we did that um shot a command control um Sorry about that. I was just reading the description. Need good control on that, but mostly. Do do. So these things, I think, will propel my little pod to go anywhere. 
All right then. Um, no, it's too small. Then you get towards structural. Now I'll use that at the end, but these um, I would recommend using these things more because these things hold your aircraft or your aircraft, your spaceship um, on the actual runway because if it's if you don't have anything, it'll just drop to the ground and then probably tip over. But these things will help you a lot. <laughs> They're gonna become your best buddy. Um, let's see, let's go to payload. Now this thing, let's see if this is actual, nope, too big. This? Okay, good. So these things, There we go. Basically these things are, if you have anything valuable that you don't want, um, or if you're, if you're planning to go, you know, extremely fast, then one, the heat. Um, your, air, or a certain part of your thing can only handle so much heat until it explodes. That's what these things are used for. Um, I'm just using them for end caps of the expo rockets to make them more aerodynamic. Actually, I forgot that those were a thing. Uh, there we go. I'm like, why isn't this working? Alright, so. Yeah, these things will help it more, more. Uh, to have, be more, you know, airstream. Nyom. That made even a slight bit of sense. Sorry, I'm not that great of an explainer. Let's have eight of these so we have extra control and goodness. Um, ground, no. Thermal. Uh, I'm not that big of a um, fan of these, mostly because I haven't used them. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how they work. Them. I'll need to work on them later. But, let's see, let's add some, uh, let's add some rechargeable ones. Let's add some Duracell on here. Um, but we'll probably need these. Actually, we'll need these on this. To keep the actual thing running. Not nah, too big. Um. Maybe this. There you go, that'll help the entire thing stay alive and stuff. <laughs> My Google Home just activated. Uh, well, that was odd. Um, yeah, don't mind if you heard a voice talking in the background. Um, alright, so this is gonna be the base rocket, and then you get into, uh, let's see, yeah, electrical, you'll need something to keep your pod energized and stuff. Now, communications, you'll need this to see in your, in uh, a certain building, you know, where the actual pod is, because if you don't have communications, then it'll just be a pile of junk. Without any communications, no one can talk to anyone. Uh, science, use this, I would recommend using this in, um, career. I, d I have not played career yet, so I'm not sure. I cannot give the best advice. Cargo has nothing in it for the PS4. Utility. Um. Hmm. A whole bunch of stuff, but mostly I use these for parachutes. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> All right. 
right then. I don't know. Okay. Um. Oh, it's a mobility. It's not to help the aircraft. That stuff is a ladder. <laughs> Alright, so right now, that's the spaceship. It's not complete yet, because over on the right-hand side is staging. Now. Oh, wait. No, not yet staging. Let's go to structural. Put in some supports. Alright. I'll hold that. And then let's put this on the actual aircraft. There we go. Alright then. I should be able to hold it up. So. Uh, the staging is how your aircraft is going to actually do things. So. If you hover over an icon, it will tell you what it's activating in that stage. Now, basically, the higher the number, the... the Highest number is the one that is going to activate first. So, um, let's add this. I, usually, you want to have something activated, like the engines, or have your engines activate first at full throttle and then release so it won't, you know, when you activate it, the thing won't drop and then go up because that'll happen if your aircraft is too heavy. But just in cases, you know, do that. Uh, oh, yeah, let's do it. Um, these little icons are for the couplers. Now the couplers I'm using to break off these. And then this is, I mean, figure out it yourself, um, parachute and the engine. Main engine, I don't want activating with that one. Um, let's put that engine there. So it'll activate when we um, decouple from the braces. Alright, so. I'm sorry if uh, you guys are, if I'm going too fast for you guys, but yeah, sorry. Let's launch this aircraft and hopefully it will not break apart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot it's night. Um, turn cursor mode. Let's see. Let's time warp this thing. There we go. All right. Um, full throttle. It's usually. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, turn off cursor mode and then X to activate the stage. Then let's release and let's go. A bit to the left. All right. Let's go to the right. Nope. Wait. Up. Oh, there we go. All right. We're heading straight up. Well, not straight up. All right. Looks like we're go. It's going good right now. We have Bill, Bob, and Valentina Kerman on board. Let's try to keep these guys alive. We have broken the sound barrier. So far everything seems good. You can tell when the things are about to run out of fuel on the left. All right, we're I think we're entering into the upper th or the lower thermosphere. All 
All right, we're out of fuel on the boosters. Disengaging in three, two, one. Let's hope this thing doesn't blow up. Yes, perfect. All right, now the bottom booster is still working. Perfect. Now I want to aim my guy towards this blue circle because I don't know what that means and I don't know how to really all right Ugh, come on we can do this on the middle on the bottom middle of the screen you, there's a little thing to indicate if you're going down or up I'm trying to aim for the blue circle come on up oh, we're almost there okay we're good okay Change the camera use the left stick to actually control the actual thing I just keep this there. Uh, about a quarter f of the field is left. Why are we heading straight down? This is not good. No. All right, abort, abort, abort. Nope, nope. Hold on, I c I can do this. I think I got this. Nope, other way. Alright. A blue thing. I heard it. Up. Alright, we really lost a lot of fuel during that thing. Alright. I think we got this. We've entered space. There's the moon. Alright, come on. Alright, I can do this. Throttle up. Blue circle is not reliable. Up, oh, we're out of fuel. Disengaging in three, two, one. Perfect. And we are in space. That was a successful launch. But since I don't want these guys... It was eight days ago, jeez. Um, since I don't want those guys, you know... Floating in space, randomly. Without any types of navigation stuff, because those are pretty good astronauts that I have. Let's revert the flight. Or we... I reverted the flight. Let's actually learn the entire thing. So... That was a successful launch, and it's way cheaper than my other one. So I'm gonna name this. At least. Uh, a. Good. Space. There we go. Let's save this aircraft. And we should be good. All right, um, stretch this entire thing. Now, let's make something that is ridiculous. <laughs> um, 
Let's use this. This big guy. Hmm. Okay, something's happening. Hmm. Then, well, okay then, so, we built a successful thing, uh, last launch of the day will be, hmm? uh, save and continue. Really? No one. Uh, okay. Let's find something that looks pretty weird. Or something that looks that uh, it'll make into the space. The super heavy lander looks good. There. Alright then. See how this thing works. I don't know how it works. It launches, but I'm. Hmm. 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 This game is still fun as always. Let's see how weird this thing is. Alright. Throttle up. Let's go. Well, isn't this exciting? Uh, let's revert the flight back to the vehicle assembly. I think that thing that you're supposed to use in your own thing. So, that way. That you'll be able to land on the moon or something safely. I guess. That didn't work, right? Uh, open a new craft. Let's use... Let's use Kerbal 2. This tiny thing. Alright, this is actually gonna be the last launch of the, of the day because this is my... This is built as a successful launch thing, I believe. I cannot speak today. Yeah, sorry this video is a bit longer than you guys wanted, but Yeah, I'm gonna try to make my videos about 15 minutes long because 30 minutes of content each day is a lot to take in Yeah, all right launch three two one go Wee! This is really fast All right, we're out Ejecting. Whoa. Okay. Aerodynamics took over and we're facing the ground. We're not even to the thermosphere. Our speed is not looking so well. Alright, um... We are losing altitude. Yep, we're losing altitude fast. <laughs> and hopefully this thing slows down. I'll release the parachute at 5,000 meters. 8,000... Wait, 8,000. And... 7,000... 6,000... 5,000. Alright, parachute has been released. It is open. Come on, open for me. Yes. Our speed is, our, our speed is looking okay. No, it's not. We're coming into... Crap. Yes! 
Yes! Yeah. It opened at the last second. There's my other part of the spaceship that just landed. <laughs> that was a pretty successful launch. Alright, we're descending at about 13 meters a second. Alright. 300 meters. Uh, 200 meters. One hundred, what, nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, there we go. We are. We are. We have landed. All right then. Let's report to the vehicle assembly. Yeah. What do I do? End the episode. All right, guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys.